Erica Henry and today I'm going to be using masking tape to create texture on an art journal page. I'm going to take some tape and cover this middle crease and it's okay if you have tape hanging off of each end. Now I'm taking different sized pieces of tape and crinkling them up to create some texture. Get creative with this. The more you crinkle, the more texture you'll have. I'm going to make all of my tape go vertically, but you could do a mix if you liked, or even do just horizontal. Now I'm going to speed this up. close-up of my process. You can see all the different wrinkles that it has going on and all of this is going to help create texture. scissors and cut off the excess tape. Now it's time to do the other side. Running a rubber brayer over the page is completely optional, but I like to do it. I just find it helps keep things stuck better. Now don't forget to trim the edges on this side. Now I'm taking territorial beige and white. Now with a sponge brush, I'm just going to take different amounts of the brown and white mixed together just to create different textures and different looks to it. Now I'm going to continue adding different amounts just to create additional texture and more variation within it and makes a more interesting piece. Now here I'm coming through with a very, very light tan color, almost white but not quite. Just adds a little bit of depth and makes that darker color really seem to be pushed back on the page. Now I'm taking melted chocolate and I'm going to add that as well and mix those in with all the different colors to create even more variation. And this just adds another layer to it and more interesting things to look at and just makes for a more interesting background. Here I'm not dabbing anymore, I'm kind of more 
splattering and dabbing with the side of the brush versus the top. Thank you so much for watching. You can click to check out another video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on the newest videos that come out. Please remember to comment below on what you'd like to see next, whether it's a tutorial or a view on another product. I want to hear from you.